Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I care for my hair while I'm wearing wigs. What you're looking at right now is a result of me not having washed my hair in two months, which is terrible. I know, I know, but I've just been slacking. There's no excuse. So right now I'm just taking it out of these braids. As you can see, there's like almost no definition. I can't braid that well, so there's no definition in the first place, but like there's a lot of new growth going on here. Why is the curl definition so beautiful when your hair is ridiculously filthy? Okay, so now we get a little bit of a hair update. I took all the braids out. It looks like it grew a little bit, possibly, who knows, with my hair. So now I'm just showing you the amount of hair that I shed which is honestly not that bad because I've only combed my hair out once in two months. So we've got about a month of shedding that we're gonna see. Now I'm just gonna pre-poo my hair with some olive oil. Um, I don't know why I'm doing all of that, but, and oh, now I'm taking um, progress pricks for my hair. So I'm just gonna section my hair off and then, y'all pr probably know how to pre-poo, but I'm just sectioning my hair off and putting, slathering it, drowning it in olive oil, and then twisting it. And then I'm just gonna put a cap on and let it sit for, I think I did an hour and a half today. Usually I do overnight, but I was on a time constraint and I was not gonna go another week without washing my hair. All right, now that I look a little ridiculous, I'm gonna just take a plastic bag. I didn't have a shower cap, so we're gonna make it do what it do. And I'm just gonna wrap this around my head, knot it, and then let it sit for an hour and a half. Okay, so now that the deep conditioner has been sitting, I'm just taking the plastic bag off and I'm undoing the twist. I don't prefer to wash my hair in sections. It's time consuming, irritating, and I don't feel like I really get my hair that clean. But you do whatever you prefer. So now I'm just going to get it wet before I start to shampoo it. Today I'm using the Carol Daughters Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo. I did, I think, two or three rounds of this just to be sure that my scalp was clean. Um, the shampoo goes, a little goes a long way, which is really nice. And it definitely makes your hair feel really clean without it feeling like stripped. And then I just took my, I don't know what this is, a scalp massage or something. And I'm using this, I'm doing about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds in each area to really help cleanse my scalp off because you know, two months, two months of dirt sitting right there, just chilling. This whole time that I'm in the shower, did you see that piece of hair that just fell? Oh my God. Um, I'm just gently finger detangling my hair. Now I'm just going in with the black vanilla hydrating conditioner. To be honest, this is not my favorite conditioner. I don't feel like it does turn much in terms of hydrating or moisturizing, um, but it's what I had, so you know. Also, I have to take a lot of pumps. I usually have to use a lot of pumps to really get it all over my hair. And I let that sit for like three or five minutes before, three to five minutes before rinsing it out. This is the star of the whole show. This is the hair mayonnaise. And this is what I use to deep condition. I believe it's a protein treatment, but it just leaves your hair feeling so 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 soft and 
hydrated, moisturized, everything. Like, it makes your hair feel so good. I was collecting all the hair that was shedding so I could show you guys how much hair I shed. But yeah, this, this magic, it's so good for your hair. Um, I love it so much. And now I'm just um, finger detangling some more. I'm being really gentle. I had a lot of little knots. And I let this sit for about an hour and a half after I finish um, finger detangling. And then I rinse it out in the sink. I try to be a cool kid and film in the shower, but it's cold. <laughs> it is very cold doing it like that. So after an hour and a half, I just rinse the deep conditioner out, the little hair mayonnaise. And then I wrapped my hair up in a cotton t-shirt because you know, the fibers are gentler. So now, ooh, you see the way I'm scrunching up my face? The knots I had were so bad. So now I'm just getting ready to braid my hair hair. I don't braid very well. I already know that. Don't come for me. My mom says I do them backwards. So I'm using the black vanilla leave-in conditioner from Carol's Daughter. I definitely feel like that's product gives you a lot of slip and I like the fact that it's a spray it's just very different and then I'm using my oil mix which is like castor olive peppermint and tea tree I believe really focusing on the ends and then I'm using some shea butter I only put shea butter in my hair when I'm wearing wigs because um, I feel like it's too heavy for regular twist outs and braid outs, but it is very, very good at keeping your hair moisturized. Even though it's like so annoying to use. Now I'm just combing my hair. I'm using a wide tooth comb. Y'all, it took me so long to comb out my hair. It took me so long to do this whole thing because you can see how long I'm spending in a section and how I'm scrunching my face up. My hair was so, so knotted, okay? So knotted. And again, I already know I don't know how to braid properly. I don't wanna hear it. So now I'm just showing you guys how bad my knots were. Like, I don't know if you can see it. The back of my head was the worst. That's where my hair is like the finest. It was so bad back there. And you guys can see like it's matted. So that's it. That is how I take care of my hair when I'm wearing wigs. Um, I don't always do two months between washes. It's usually about every other week, maybe every two weeks, depending. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, spread love, be kind. Bye guys.